Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Today we will learn about bulk converter. So what is a bulk converter? A bulk converter will take a higher voltage at the input here and will stepping it down to a lower voltage at the output. So the output voltage will be less than or equal to the input. A low pass filter may be inserted in the basic converter. For example, we have a capacitor here to obtain a pure DC and to help maintain the output. And the diode D will provide a path for the inductor current when the switch is open and this diode will be reverse bias when the switch is closed. To see the relationship between the input and the output of this converter, there are two states that need to be considered here. First, when switch is closed and the second one, when switch is open. So this is the circuit when switch is closed and this is the circuit when the switch is open. So when switch is closed, D or the diode will be open or reverse bias. And when switch is open, D or the diode must be closed or forward bias so that inductor current can continues to flow. To do the analysis, two assumptions must be made. First, we need to assume that the circuit is in CCM or continuous current mode. An inductor current that remains positive throughout the switching period is known as continuous current. So if I mean is greater than or equal to zero, so it means that the circuit is in CCM or continuous current mode. And the sec second assumption is the circuit must be in steady state condition or in average. Okay, so this is the circuit when switch is closed. So when switch is closed, the diode must be reverse bias. Okay, so using KVL, we will get Vs equal to VL plus V out. So VL equal to Vs minus V out. And we know that the voltage across the, the inductor is given by L V I L over DT. Okay, so rearrange them, we will get D I L over DT equal to Vs minus V out over L. And this is the waveform for the inductor voltage and this is the waveform for the inductor current. Okay, so since the derivative of the current is a positive here, so the current increase linearly as shown in this figure here. Okay, so now we will get DIL over DT equals to Vs minus Vout over L equal to delta IL over DT. So here is DT, the time taken for the switch when the switch is closed. Okay. And finally, the change in current while the switch is closed can be determined by delta IL close equal to Vs minus V out over L times DT. So, this is the equation number 
Okay, next, because of inductive energy storage here, IL can continues to flow when the switch is open. Okay, and the diode now is in forward bias condition. Okay, so again, using KVL, we will get VL plus V out equal to 0. Thus, VL equal to minus V out. And we also know that VL is given by L DIL over DT. Then, rearrange them, we will get DIL over DT equal to minus V out over L. Okay, so now, since the derivative of IL is a negative constant here, therefore, IL must be decreased linearly as shown in the figure here. Okay, so DIL over DT equal to minus V out over L equal to delta IL over 1 minus DT. So, how do I get this? This is because of the time here. The time taken for the switch when the switch is open. So, it is given by T minus dt equal to 1 minus dt. Okay, so the change in inductor current when the switch is open is given by delta il open equal to minus v out over l times 1 minus d t. So, let this be as equation number 2. Okay, please note that the steady state operation requires the inductor current at the end of the switching cycle be the same as the beginning of the net cycle. So, it means that the sum of the net change in inductor current over one period is zero. That is delta IL close plus delta IL open equal to zero. So, by substituting equation number 1 and 2, we will get Vs minus Vr over L times dt minus v out over l times 1 minus d t equal to 0. So now we can cancel l with l and t with t. So we will get dvs minus dv out minus v out plus dv out equal to 0. So, what else can we cancel? We can cancel this one with this one. So, finally, V out equal to D V S. So, what does it mean? It means that the output voltage is depends on the input and the duty ratio here. Okay. So, if the input voltage fluctuates, the output voltage can be regulated by adjusting this duty ratio or duty cycle. Next, the average capacitor current must be zero for a steady state operation. Thus, the average inductor current IL must be the same as the average current in the load resistor IR. So, when IC is 0, IL equal to IR which is also equal to V out over R. And then, the maximum current is given by V out times 1 over 
R plus 1 minus D over 2 LF. And the minimum current can be determined by V out times 1 over R minus 1 minus D over 2 LF. Okay, so the difference between the maximum current and the minimum current here lies in this sign. Okay, so plus sign for the maximum current and minus sign for the minimum current. Okay, and finally the inductor current ripple is given by Delta IL equal to I max minus I min. So, this is delta IL or the inductor current ripple. So, that's it for the bulk converter. For this slide, I used a reference book entitled Power Electronics from DW Hart. So, you can go and look into this book for more in-depth information. Okay? So, see you in next slide. Thank you.